Ever since his inception, Axe Hands has been a beloved meme and robot on this channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own axe wielding maniac robot. It's actually pretty simple. The first thing you got to do is build a shrine like I did. More importantly, you need to build a robot workbench, obviously. If you really want to imbue it with the Axe Hands energy though, you need to put Axe Hands in all neon lights above it because it looks cool. Once you craft your brand new automatron, you are on your way to making your very own Axe Hands. So for the head, we have to stick with the Protectron head because that's kind of the whole basis of Axe Hands. He's a floating Protectron with axes, so he needs that head factory armor. You can use a different head armor, but it just doesn't have the same Axe Hands energy. For his torso, be sure to go Protectron again because anything else looks kind of wonky on him. I don't know why the head sits weird, but... You can put on any armor you want. It's really just uh, whichever one you think will provide the most utility to you. Now for his arms, this is the most important part because uh, you want the stuff that gives you the most damage for your axes. And that's going to be Assaultron arms. You're going to want your left and right arm both Assaultron. And obviously, you got to put axes on them because that's the whole basis of axe hands. If you put two shish kebabs on them, I guess his name would just be shish kebab hands. And that's just not nearly as cool. Once both hands are all axed up, you need to move on to the legs, or I guess move on to removing the legs, because you're going to be using a Mr. Handy Thruster. And before you comment telling me the Mr. Handy Thruster sucks, here is why you're wrong. Basically, the Fallout 4 AI is just dumb sometimes. So stopping them from getting stuck on stuff that's on the ground and being able to float over it and maneuver way better just means that your robot is going to be that much more deadly because it isn't going to be getting stuck on every little thing, and it'll actually be able to attack the enemy. Once you've done all that, the final step is to put the red paint job on him. If you do anything other than red, I just want you to know that you're deeply, deeply disappointing me. The final step is just to name him Axe Hands, and then you'll be ready to go on your adventures throughout the Commonwealth with the number one best robot companion ever.